This tutorial uh, looks at uh, using the gradient uh, color tool uh, to apply that to objects. It's a very important tool of, of graphic design. Uh, the first aspect is is to actually create an, an object in which you want to apply the gradient color to it. Uh, something that I hadn't showed you before was how to actually change uh, the color by not using swatches. And if you go on the left hand main toolbar and on the fill X icon, if you double click on that, you are able to use the color picker in which to change the color that you want uh, for that. So if I choose this color there, you'll notice that the color picker will enable you to change the color of that object. Now, if you want to apply a gradient to a tool on the right hand side, there's the, uh, there's the gradient option. You click that up and you can select a gradient for any object. One of the things you'll notice that this initial gradient is, is quite basic and, and, and very simple. If you want to apply your own um, type of gradient, if you go up to the swatches panel and you click on the drop down box and you choose a new gradient swatch. That will bring up the new gradient swatch dialog box. And basically you can rename your gradient and you've got the different types. So you've got either linear or radial and we'll stay with linear. Um, but if you come down to the gradient ramp and you've got the two icons, a white and a dark one down the bottom and they're called the color stop. So if you click on the white color stop, and then choose RGB. You'll notice that you've got a series of different colors that you can actually change uh, for, the, for the white color stop for your gradient. So I'm gonna get a yellow color happening and you'll notice as this changes on the gradient ramp. If I click on the black one, and I do the same as before, and I go for a uh, strong red. As you'll notice on the gradient ramp, we've started to, to um, see this, this gradient appear. Now, if on the bottom line here, if I click again, it actually allows me to add another color or, or a different color there within to that, that gradient. So I can, might choose a different color. So once you come up with your gradient there, all you do is you click add and then OK. And that will actually apply that to your document there, which is now your new gradient. 